Today I want to show you the art of open world fame farming, but instead of using spiked gauntlets, which is what everyone tells you to do, or a nature staff, which is also what everyone tells you to do, we're going to be using an old school classic, the bolt casters. I'm using the Q2 spell explosive bolt, the W2 spell sundershot, and the second passive well prepared. I've also just got all cloth. I won't really be using the cloth very much, maybe the cultist cowl on the anniversary, like statue bosses, but... Not really often. I probably won't use the boots at all. I have a 8-4 Thetford cape, and this is just an 8-3 bolt casters. They're only worth 3.5 million. You can farm that in four hours. Go gather for four hours. You're good to go. We're using beef stew and an anniversary cake, so we can get that XP bonus, or fame bonus, rather. And I'm also using a Caroleon Cottontail because it has a really fast gallop, fast move speed. It's tanky. And watch as I can just smoke every single open world mob super duper fast. We're starting at 148.6 million combat fame credits. So let's go hunt some mobs down and uh, see how much, how well we do in 30 minutes. And I don't have premium, mind you. I do not have premium active. So that is another 50%, uh, you know, fame that I could be getting. And uh, this is a little bit of a busy time, but look how fast I can just blow up mobs. I can already hop back on. Oh, we have our first uh, boss here. Just gonna. Oh, we got some uh, extra dudes here. Not a big deal. And uh, because I deal such an insane amount of damage, uh, it looks like this guy's stealing the uh, the glowing mob on the side there. Let's see if I can... I don't think I can steal that one. I think he got that one. But I did definitely get this mob. There we go. And then I can also one-shot that. Pop back on my mount. Dismount, one-shot that, pop back on. Get the loot, tier 5 shield. Very nice, very cool. And um, I just... I'm just... Fa I travel faster than people around me. So I can run from mob pack to mob pack. I can... Uh, Basically, just uh, use the cape and 1Q spell kill the wizards. Now, for these these mobs up here, they're a little bit beefier. So I gotta use W spell into Q. That'll uh, combo them down. And you can see that I can hop back on my mount before their ranged attack even reaches me. Uh, which I believe is nullified because they're, t they're considered dead. Also, if I have three stacks, which I did have there, I can just shoot two Q spells instead of a WQ. But you can see how really, really fast this is. And this is actually a good way to farm faction points. It's it's pretty damn good for farming faction points. Another reason why I love bolt casters is like if there's another player near me and we're DPS racing over a statue mob, then I can out DPS them with just my E spell. Like there is no other weapon besides like the blazing staff that, that does any better. And so in this case, there's two mobs. I can't W, uh, so I just uh, auto attack them. You can see that they die just incredibly fast. The only bad thing about the Caroleon Cottontail is that it's a smaller mount, so it's a little bit harder to quick mount on top of it. So there we go. Just toss that there. Hop back on, even though the uh, cougar is biting my ankles. And auto into Q. See, look at that. That's 4,000 fame. And yes, I'm leveling a face scale robe right now, so I'm not getting as many combat fame credits as I could. But it's, um, you know, the cloth is just there to boost the damage. So, double Q on that, hit the W, hit the Q, and they just die. They die so fast. They just die really, really quickly. It's really nice. There is, uh, this is the most lamest, in, or not lamest, but easiest, laziest, that's the word I'm looking for, laziest way to open world fame farm. Now, I know with the spike gauntlet, you can grab the entire camp of mobs and then pop them all at once with the E spell every 20 seconds. Yes, you absolutely can. But I've made plenty of videos about that. So this is a video about Bolcaster, like, open-world mob farming. And there's not a lot of open-world mobs. Oh, we got another statue. So just go ahead and E him here. And this will interrupt me. It's fine. It's whatever. You know, we're just going to pop a little fire there. Get that killed. Kill this thing. Why not? Collect our cake. And we're already moving on to the next mob. There is one, like, for, for the bosses like that, the Shadow Caller will kill them faster. With the same setup, I just switch out Shadow Caller to get you a Crypt Candle. It's slightly faster, but it's not faster for this kind of activity. So, <laughs> I'm kind of fighting these a little bit sloppy, but uh, it's just a, it's just a W to Q or, or two Q spells. And I kind of alternated the targets instead of eliminating one at a time here. And then we have a, a glowing boss mob over here, and all you gotta do, just push E on them. I don't have to do anything else, just push E on them, they're dead. And there you go, 11,000. Easy, easy. Tier 5 plate helmet. Really weird with the drops right now. And uh, one thing that I like about this build for open world mob farming is it's just so damn smooth. Because you just pop off your mount and you just shoot. 
and then uh, <laughs> like things just die, right? With the spike gauntlets, uh, if you don't have your E up, you're not one-shotting things. Your W might one-shot the weaker mobs, but it's awkward. It, it's just, it's just, it's just not as smooth. I mean, look at this. You, you, I'm just popping off the mount, shooting my gat into them, and then they're dead. They're gone. They're done. So, so auto into Q, mount up. W into Q, mount up. There we go. Whereas with the spike gauntlets, you got to run past them, and then you got to bunch them up, and then you push E. And, uh, yeah, if it's a bigger camp, absolutely. Like, for this, look, I can still do that. I can just munch them up right here like this. And, uh, you know, just get all the melees like that. Shoot him once with that, and then there we go. So, it, it's about the same speed. It is not as efficient as the spike gauntlets, but for single targets or for very small camps, this is the faster. Because I can just push E on this guy, and he's dead. Like, there we go. He's just dead. <laughs> And then I can just W into Q, and yes, I had three stacks, so I kind of wasted it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't beat yourself up too much. Go ahead and just shoot him. <laughs> we got some wildlife here trying to fight back. They're trying to defend their precious wildlings. And if I don't have my Q spell, it's fine because, the, uh, or I'm sorry, my E spell. The Q spells deal so much damage. See? And I don't want a tier 3 helmet, so I'm going to trash it. Boo to whoever is feeding the black market with those things. Boo to them. And, and this bunny, it just it just gallops so fast. Like, as soon as I dismount and take a few steps, it's back into gallop mode. It is just, this is, it's just free, free fame, right? You know, free fame. And if I pick up all the silver, it's not bad silver. If I turn off auto respec and satchel, it's, uh, you know, it's still decent fame farm. It's pretty good. It's not as good as farming statics, obviously. Like, if you can farm statics, you should just go do that. I'm just doing this to show you that... Like, a lot of you guys started with the bolt casters back in the day. Because bolt casters were really, really good for new players to start doing, uh, you know, solo dungeons. But because solo dungeons are absolute garbage now, there's really not a lot of reason to use bolt casters anymore. Except for a few meme PvP builds. We're just gonna shoot this one down here. There we go. And then avoid the wildlife. And this guy is just, uh, he's just shielded. He's just chilling. We got, we got a three stack right now. Let's uh, continue down bottom right. So I just want to show you guys, bolt caster is still pretty good. Still useful. So pop that. Pop these guys. And there we go. That was like three shots, I think. And this guy was kind of kiting them around too, so it's a little awkward. But there we go. And there we go. Whereas... Um, <laughs> If we were uh, spiked gauntlets, what is he doing? If we were spiked gauntlets, you know, our E would still be on cooldown, right? And we'll just pop him one more time. I didn't have cape for that. I didn't have that for cape. And then we will WQ. And then get the cooldown, pop that guy down there. See, we're just... Every time we see a humanoid mob, it's dead. It's just immediately dead. It's like we're a Terminator. We're, we're a vicious... Yellow Zone Killing Machine. That's right, Soul Benji, the Yellow Zone Killing Machine. It just deletes people. Also, if anyone wants to PvP you and for whatever reason they're, they dismount on top of you, like say you're fighting mobs and they decide to dismount on top of you, in five seconds a bolt caster will delete your health bar if you have your E up. If someone dismounts next to you and they want to and they want to tussle, just cast E on them and they're dead. They can't fight back. They can't use defensives for five seconds. They are, they're just dead. They're, it's over. Their life is is gone. <laughs> you have what's basically two fully automatic pistols that you can just dump, mag dump into them. Like there's no surviving that. Glowing mob. Just uh, you know smash them there. Collect a thousand silver. Again, it would be more with premium. Premium does help in these regards. So there we go, just shoot that dude. Oh, we got a statue. Very cool. Let's get him. I don't have my Q spell up, and that's okay. And, you know, if you, uh, you know, attract monsters and stuff. And also, I'm just going to combine the armor here with this. And, uh, yeah, that's just going to shred his health bar. I didn't even armor shred that boss. Let's uh, get him. Just how many more auto attacks? There we go. Got him. Very good. It's it's so snappy and so quick. It's just pop him, and then you pop back on your mount. It, it's a very fluid motion. I don't think you would be able to do this kind of, like, um, quick attacks on a cell phone. It just seems like it would be way too hard. We have a player here. Look at that. Can I shoot him? Is he going to let me shoot him? That would be really funny to do. Oh, is it, he might. Is he a bot? I'm checking for a bot right now. 
I just want to see if this guy's botting. It's kind of weird if he is. He's also got minor boots, which is odd. Okay, he spoke to me. He's not a bot. So that's obviously a player. He called me a nooba, <laughs> which I guess means newbie in his language. Uh, let's see if we can figure out his language here. Uh... I don't know. You guys fit. You guys tell me in the comments. Why is he calling me a nooba? Now, a bad thing about having a player near you is that you can't spam your abilities like I've been showing you. There is that five second cooldown. It can get a little annoying. Uh, so if you're if you are f mob farming, it, it really sucks when people follow you around because it every time you dismount, five seconds adds to the clock. And he might follow me around because well, I am a pretty big size. I'm actually. Guys, I, I know some people don't believe this. I, I'm the biggest content creator for the game. I get more views than everybody, and I'm not making this up. You can check Social Blade. You can check a lot of data collection websites. I'm I'm the biggest. And yes, some of my views are coming from other games that I've covered, like World of Warcraft, New World, Lost Ark, and so on. Yes, that's true. But um, how come none of the other Albion content creators are making content for other games? Hmm? Or is it because they don't have time or they just don't have the they don't like the other games? I'm not really sure why they're not covering other games, but if they wanted to be YouTubers, they kind of should. You know, they really they should get on that. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that guy buggered off. He he knows he knows not to stand next. What about this one? Does this guy know? What is he doing? Let's see if he uh, if he wants to. F oh, he, he's a five three. Whatchamacallit. Um, what is that weapon called again? The realm breaker, right? Yeah, he knows better. Like, like when people see bolt casters, they know just how fast the damage can rack up. And really, all you need to do to fight a bolt caster is just be reflect. Like if I if I inspect someone and they're a spear user and they have reflect on their W, I don't shoot them because I will die. That it's like a it's like a ninja deflecting bullets right back into you. It's like a stormtrooper getting shot by his own laser beams, man. It's it is not it is not good news when you are a bolt caster and someone just hits the reflect button you die your health your life is over. I wish that you could reflect the reflect but that would ca cancel your channeling, you know? Like maybe if you hit reflect and then you shoot them and they're reflecting then you're reflecting the reflect and nah that that's not a, a thing I've tried. Sometimes you can steal kills from people, but um this guy he's, he's pretty juiced with his uh, kingmaker there. And uh, there we go, got the kill that time, got that kill, and you can see that um, I'm going to be able to just, I could follow him around. There's an item on the ground, I kind of want to look at it. Too many giant killer terror birds chasing me around. Let's see. And then once that one drops aggro, shoot her, hop on the mount, and we're, we're gone, man. We're, we're fame farming way faster than Mr. Uh, Kingmaker over here. Very cool weapon, the Kingmaker. I like it. Captain Darkness up here with his 8-4 axe. Hell yeah, dude. He's getting this animal skinning on. Let's pop him. There we go. Kingmaker, you know, you're not going to do a lot of damage without those Q charges. It's not very efficient to mob farm, but he's out here mining, it looks like. He's doing a little, just a little bit of mining. And, you know, the cool thing is, is that um, you can be auto-attacking one target and shooting the other. So it really feels like you're a dual-wielding badass just sometimes let's go ahead and just uh unload a fully you know <laughs> we're just unloading everything into the statue here look how fast that thing died can you kill those that fast fun fact by the way if you aren't aware the statues are considered a tier 6 mob which means you can you can fill tier 6 mercenary journals on them very cool very cool indeed and you can see that i'm just uh just killing everybody just killing them all <laughs> I uh, got a fame tome there. Unfortunately, those things have sunk a little bit in value. Also, it's funny that when you did when you re when you mount up now, that mobs like drop aggro. You can kind of oh here we go. This guy is giving me the old spin, Captain of Darkness. Giving the old spinneroni. See if we can uh, hit him with the firewall there. Just a little bit extra damage. Always stay, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think he missed. Uh, like you. I think he missed, uh, he mispronounced it. Always stay swole is the phrase, but whatever. You know, he tried. That's what matters is he tried. He tried to get it. Captain of Darkness, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, I could have killed them with one blast, but I didn't see him because, uh, you know, the view distance on this game kind of sucks. All right, so we are <laughs> fame farming 
we've got 15, we're 15 minutes in. It is, doesn't feel like 15 minutes. It feels like just a few minutes. Now, like I said, open world mob farming, very efficient for, for <laughs> fame farming. If you can't solo statics, if you can solo statics, you have no reason to ever really do this content. Like for real, like, let's see if I can bunch these, uh, these buggers up. There we go. Right in the middle. Boom. Triple kill. Kill the, mo kill the moa bird. Do moa birds grow up to be terror birds or are they a separate species altogether? Like the moa birds are the peaceful, you know, keepers of moa bird society. And then the terror birds are the uh, uppity, angry, rioting birds of the bird kingdom. I don't know. <laughs> Here, let's sidestep that because that'll interrupt our e-spell. And then we'll just start mag dumping into them. Also, if I wanted to be really efficient, I would use the armor shred with my helmet's uh, ability. Uh, what, what is the ability called? It's called Inner Corruption. Yes, it does a ton of 1,612 damage to monsters, not players. It'll actually do more to a player if they cast a bunch of spells or do auto attacks. This helmet is a free win against like auto attack builds, like dual swords and stuff. It's so funny when a dual, like I, I just let a dual swords hit me. I just, uh, as soon as, as they E me, I cast that and they just start auto attacking and then they're just dead. Their, their HP is just goes to zero <laughs> and they don't, unless they have a cleanse. No one runs cleanse in this game for like 1v1s and brawls. All right, let's just uh, shoot this dude. <laughs> That sword guy tried to get it, but I got it instead. What's he fighting? He's fighting another glow monster. See how fast I killed mine compared to him? He was already fighting that, too. Like, that was a that was a, bat, a mid battle. Okay, see, the HP on this one is too low to steal, so I have no reason to um, assist. But this one is not. This one is mine. So we're just going to yoink this real quick. And you'll see the sword guy back off. He knows. it's <laughs> he can't take it. And there we go. This is why you want a weapon. Oh, he's doing some kind of emote where he says no. Yeah, he says uh, he said no in emotes. Maybe he's also muted, possibly. And he can't speak normally. But, uh, you know, you never know. But, <laughs> uh, popping him. All right. But this is, again, why you would want to use a weapon like bolt casters. So you can steal kills from people that uh, you're in competition with. And you see, I got the fame, I got the cake, he did not. <laughs> oh, man. Anniversary week. Always fun to go open world fame farm. It used to be, like, like the old anniversary dungeons were super good, man. The old anniversary dungeons were the best. They had so much loot in them, and you could speed clear them. And they took them away. I miss those dungeons. I got plenty of videos on my channel that show them off, in case you're, like, curious. About the history of, like, the, the anniversary dungeons and stuff. The, the Halloween dungeons, though. Oh, oh, the Halloween dungeons. Those those are longer. They're bigger. They're, they've got lots of mob density. They're, they're actually the best for uh, faction point farming, believe it or not. And especially if you can solo group dungeons, then they're really, really good, man. <laughs> All right, there we go. Go ahead and yoink the cake off the ground. I have so many cakes. I have like 100 cakes in my stash. And this is still the first day of the anniversary. I know you might not be watching it on, what is it, January 13th? But, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, this is just day one. We're out here farming cakes, hundreds. It sucks that the, the price plummets in the market. It's like so many people farm the cakes and then they just sell it. They don't use them. They just sell them and let the price just rot. It's like, bro, even if you'd use it on like a few crafting things, man. Oh no, I, I mounted up and that thing healed. That's so dumb. I hate that. But whatever. I'm gonna wait for it to do its interrupt and then I'm gonna eat it. Oh, and now this one's doing its interrupt. Well, whatever. They're doing a little team attack. But hey, we still make short work of it regardless, and I still haven't used the armor shred on my boots yet. Oh boy. What's our, uh, where are we at now? 149.8, so we've already made, uh, 2 million fame. <laughs> uh, and again, that's, um, you know, that's, uh, fame... That's combat fame credits being converted into normal fame. People people hate that so much, dude. I love trolling Reddit with that, and it's it's real. My argument of the whole thing is, who the hell cares about your damn stats page? Unless you're some guy chasing the leaderboards, you would be in a, in a world boss killing guild for that. So, like, for the 99.9% .9 of people that don't do that, ev everyone only cares about how fast it is to level up your equipment which is how I base my numbers. 
I base my numbers for the, the people. <laughs> Not for some stupid stats page that doesn't keep proper track of your fame. Like, I have over a billion fame in my equipment, but my stats page says I've only, um... I've only killed 258 million worth of fame mobs. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's complete bullshit right there, man. For real. Oh, we got a statue. Can I steal? Let's see if I, we can steal. It is a... I think this is the 8-4 Battle Axe guy. Uh, we did not steal that, so we just helped him out. I, I mean, he is 8-4. No, he's 8-3. This is 8-3 guy. And he also had a good 20% of it killed. He started throwing that axe, he's like, oh shit. <laughs> Someone steal our boss statue, gotta kill. He, uh, he ramped up that DPS for sure. Oh, man. It's, uh, at least it's got people out here, you know, fame farming and stuff. Most of the time, these, here's the thing, like, most of the time, zones like this, they're just empty. Dude, they're just super empty, and I know you guys on East, you know, y'all live a whole different life where you're just flooded with bots all the time, stealing all the resources constantly, and it sucks. But one day, it may not be that bad, dude. Just one day. I like how I can jump on the mount, and then the mob forgives me for my sins of shocking it with lightning. <laughs> Isn't that fun? How many cakes have I farmed so far? 11 cakes. We have killed 11... Or 10 or 9 statues. I don't know how many statues because sometimes they drop two cakes. But it's still, you know, it's still, uh, it's pretty good. Also, the uh, the faction points we've been we getting, we're up to 9,000. That's a chest. That's 250,000, you know, fame right there in tomes. Hell yeah, bro. Heck yeah, dude. Also, if I brought a skinny knife, there's a bunch of dead animals that are just free money laying on the ground. It's not even being claimed. Let's give them the old E treatment here. And uh, spam those Qs, got him before he could heal. Oh yeah, how does statues heal? Like, how does the heal? How does mad? How do? You, how does healing stone work? Are they just healing the magical possessive energy, or who knows? I don't know, man. Why don't I just write a book and and you know everyone can be like, yeah, so that's how st statues heal themselves. Ugh. Like, here's the thing, right? Think of it like let, let's think in how to how to cheat the system in a fantasy setting. You are a stonemason, okay? You're a stonemason, you're living in medieval times. Whoa, we got Mr. Bola dude here. Let's see if we can shoot him. I don't think we can. He's just gonna run away. Yep. Hey, I got I got this dude here, though. He might get him. Oh, yeah, get him, bro. Hold him down. Hold him down. I'll sh oh, no, he's fast. It, his mount's dead, so I can I can chase. I'm pretty sure I can chase that. Yeah, we're gonna bully some dudes. All right, so he's got terror birds, so that's good. Well, he's a shadow caller, I believe, so I'm not too afraid unless he switches his Q spell. Where did he go? Oh, where did he go, man? He either went up right or bottom left, and I think he went up right. Or he's invis. Dang, did we really lose him? He's about to get his mount off cooldown too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, get him, boys. And I got credit, too. Look at that. What is he doing out here? <laughs> Nobs assholes. Bros. You want to see it? No, I wanted to steal the statue. It's too late, though. <laughs> Mainly you, YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. I play video games to be the asshole. So what? Also, I didn't even kill him. I, I tickled him with my bolt casters and he ran away, which is fine. That's what you're supposed to do. It was the swordsman that killed him, not me, dude. What? I'm, what did I do? <laughs> oh, fun times in the in the yellow zone. See, the yellow zones are way more fun because it's like he didn't lose his gear. He's, he's got a little repair bill, you know. It's just whatever. <laughs> oh man, fun times indeed. Yes, absolutely. Everyone's out here murdering the statues, you know, they deserve it. Okay, anyway, what I was talking about, and I actually remember this time, because I know I like to go on these rants in my videos, and then I forget what the hell I'm talking about, and then it just leaves you hanging, and it sucks. I hate that. We were talking about a fantasy setting and how to cheat the system, so here we go. If you ever find yourself isekai into a fantasy medieval setting, and you happen to know magic, this is how you can get around being like the best stone mason in the, in the countryside, okay? I'm going to teach you a little secret here. And uh, that is, you're a stonemason and you're tasked at repairing a stone structure or wall or something for the king or whoever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it's for. 
instead of painstakingly having to like do stonemason stuff to gather stone and you know you know like mold it into um a wall or paste or whatever stonemasons do i don't know shit about stone masonry okay but the point is is that this is a fantasy world and you have magic so here's what you do you learn how to turn stone to life like i guess stone mancy or something i don't know what it would be called you know, it'd be like golem, like, like you create golems or something, okay? That's step number one. Uh. Step number two is you learn healing magic, okay? So here's what you do. You're, you're tasked at repairing uh, the castle's wall. It was damaged in a siege. There's a big hole in it. So what you do is you simply turn the wall to life, which it's a wall. It can't, like, walk around or crawl out of its hole or anything. Are walls and holes? I don't really know how walls work. Um... <laughs> Otherwise, you could just tip them over. <laughs> um, so what you do is you bring the wall to life through your stonemancy powers. Like Necromancer, but it's stone, okay? You got that? And then you cast heal on it. Ta-da! Now the wall is all nice and pristine. And then you just unsummon the life from it. And there you go. You didn't have to go mine a bunch of stone and be a, a doofus and go to the Trader's Guild and... Trade for concrete, or if, if concrete even exists. You, you know what I'm saying, right? And there you go. So, But you can't let anyone see you do this, because um, then everyone will wise up, and they'll do the same thing, right? Uh, <laughs> healers will just be used to repair walls. They're like, okay, so we hired a, a stonemancer and a healer, and we're going to repair the castle in like 10 seconds. Dude, can you imagine that like someone's laying siege to a castle... And, like, you're you're throwing boulders into their walls and cracking the walls and cracking the giant castle gates. And some asshole just keeps possessing the damn wall and healing it. And you're just like, motherfucker, <laughs> let me raid you. Let me overtake your kingdom. Stop healing. Stop healing the walls. It's like, it, it's like, a, like, rust without, like, raid rules, right? You can sit there and just fucking repair the wall while they rocket launch it or something. Which I don't think you can do. I think if you're rocket launched, the game will let you do that. But I, I haven't played Rust in years, so I don't really know. But yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's how you succeed in the medieval isekai life that you've been granted. Alright. There we go. Level 50 face scale robe. Yes, indeed. Oh, we got a big boy here. I should have W'd him first, but that's fine. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna charge my laser here, and we're gonna do some frost magics. Look at that, just dumping frost magic and <laughs> the bolts into their bodies. Boy, oh boy, aren't we just a big slayer? How much time we got left? Like, three minutes. We got three minutes left. We're at 150, 150.4 million combat fame credits. I forgot what we started at. I didn't put it up on the screen. It's whatever. It's fame week. I've got the fame cake going, you know. It's um, it's a little unfair to like track it anyway. <laughs> uh, what is Leon Bloodman doing out here with his damn phalanx beetle? It's so weird. Oh, don't boulder me, bro. Not until I finish shooting you. So normally on mobs like this, you would let them do their stun attack, dodge it, and then fill them full of crossbow bolts. And that's how you play that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just a lazy boy. I said, see you later, boy. <laughs> I don't know the... Uh, how do you say that girl's name? Is it Avril Levine? Avril Le Levine? I don't know her name, but she's like the skater boy. I said, see you later, boy. Uh, song girl that like likes Hello Kitty or something. I forget. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know American music. I, I know Finnish music. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how I know Finnish music, okay? <laughs> uh, who's your favorite Finnish musician? Uh, well, her name's Tarya. Okay. And, um, you know, she doesn't... Well, that was like, what, early 2000s, man. <laughs> it's funny how our tastes don't change. Alright, see, we're gonna eat him again, and the boulder still hits us. We don't learn our lessons, even though we talk about it. It's like... Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Which is like a bunch of YouTubers are like, Ugh, go to the black zone. But you see them secretly farming yellow zones. You're like, hmm. Hmm, yes. Hmm. 
but they'll never ever make a yellow zone video because they're afraid, dude. That's the funny thing about Albion content creators. They're afraid of their audience. I'm not afraid of y'all. Why would I be afraid of you guys? I'm like your friend. You're not supposed to be afraid of your friends. Are you afraid of me? Why would you be afraid of me, bros? I'm your bro. I'm just your your friendly neighborhood soul binge, you know? Like, I'm just like, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm not like... <laughs> Uh, you know, but, you know, that's how a lot of amateur content creators are. Their audience controls them, not the other way around. All right, let's learn our lesson. Throw the, throw the boulder, and now we, we sidestep it, and then we blast them. It's so much cleaner that way. This guy out here using crossbow on animals. Good for him. And there we go. We've pumped so many monsters, you know, with our explosive bolts. Just blood and guts and body parts littering the steps, the deserty oasis. And that's our food buff. We can get, we can get one more though. There we go. Alright, so what do we get in loot? Not a million silver. What the hell? This is not worth a million. This is worth like 6,000 times 14. That's so stupid. Um, other than that though... Uh, combat fame credits. 150.55 million. That's how much we farmed, and uh, I don't know how many face scale robe levels we got, but it's up to 50 now. Uh, ugh, what else are we? What else are we calculating here? Uh, faction points. I don't know how many I got. I checked it earlier at 9,000. It's at 10,000 now. Let's teleport home. 61,000, and the repairs not so bad. You know, repairs or whatever. You're not doing this activity for silver. You have to go gather for silver. That's just how it is. And if you're on east, that doesn't work. You. East, people on, on the East server have to gather five times as long. That's so sad, dude. You have to pay to win on East. There's no other way to do it. 2,700 in repairs. Oh, no. <laughs> we actually, we did, um, our faction points are a little skewed because we did get a, a shared kill from that one guy. And we'll open the chest. How much is that worth? 20, 40, 46, 47k. 300k in fame tomes. Not bad. Pretty good stuff. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and get yourself a bolt casters and start two-shotting everything if you want to open world mob farm. Otherwise, just, just save up for shadow caller and farm statics. I'm being for reals. Thank you so much. Make sure you leave a comment so I have something to read when I'm feeling lonely, uh, which is always. <laughs> Join the Discord. Maybe I won't feel lonely anymore if you pass the questionnaire. Very cool. Anyway, uh, make sure you're subscribed, and on the right side of your screen, there is a video that you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, the next person that talks in English chat here dies. In the game, of course, so let's see who that is. It is this player right here. What's their stats? Misakixt of Animal Farm. Oh, that's a callback from an old book. Uh, looks like he's a new player, too, so he's dead if you don't click the video on the right side of your screen. There you go.